Ducky see, ducky do. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, bathing suits. And swim goggles. We can go play in the water. Yeah, at Super Splash Park. Super Splash-tastic. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and headed straight for Super Splash Park. They could hardly wait to start playing in the water. Hi, ducks. Doesn't this place look like fun? <laughs> fun? It looks awesome! Ooh, rubber rafts and an octopus. And a pirate ship. Arg! <laughs> Come on, let's go! But when they got inside, the park didn't look quite like it did in the picture. Kate, Super Splash Park doesn't look super at all. I mean, look, this rubber raft is no good. <sighs> well, don't make it worse, Kit. Come on, it's just one little patch. It was gonna fall off anyway. <laughs> this place stinks. Come on, Kit. It might not be perfect, but we can still have fun playing, right? Yeah, right. See, Mr. Octopus looks okay. Mm, kinda. Kinda junky, Kate. Look at these tentacles. They're all bent. Hey, quit it, Kit. It was already broken. <laughs> <laughs> It's all messed up over here, too. And look at this ship. These masts are falling right over. What was that? What did you do? The park is ruined. Now we can't even play even if we wanted to. Oh, oh no. no! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? The ducks totally destroyed the water park. Oh, wow. Did they break all of this? Well, almost all of it. Well, who else was breaking things? Um. I broke a couple things, but it was just little stuff, like the tip of an octopus arm. Yeah, but nothing like the ducks. They wrecked the whole park. Whoa. Where do you think the ducks got the idea that it was okay to break things at all? Maybe after they saw me pull that patch off the rubber raft, they figured it was okay for them to break stuff. Huh. And what do you think might have happened if you'd fixed the leaky rafts instead? Maybe they would have fixed stuff, too. Hey, I get it. Setting a bad example can make more bad things happen. But setting a good example can help good things happen. Thanks, Thanks Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I'll try to set a good example for the ducks. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their water park adventure all over again. But this time when they saw something broken... This raft just needs a little patching up. There! That was easy! Yay! It works now! And when the ducks saw Kit fix something, they wanted to fix things too. I wonder where they got that idea. What else can we fix? And soon, Super Splash Park looked even more super than the picture. A place where anyone would be happy to play. And thanks to Kit, Kate, and the ducks, happy is just what they were. Ready? Whee! Hooray! Bubble Trouble. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. 
bubble wands. Let's go to Bubble Beach. And build a big bubble castle. Yeah! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the foamy shores of Bubble Beach. Hi, kittens. Here to build a bubble castle? You bet your bubble we are. Ha <laughs> Well, have some bubble good fun. Thanks. Kit, I'll start with the square wand. That looks great. I'll try the triangle wand. Wow. Let's try the circle wand. Huh? Uh, Kate, look out! Uh, uh, uh. Hey, you meanie! You popped our castle! How about I bust your bubbles? How do you like that, meanie? What's happening? Stop! No fighting on Bubble Beach! It's his fault! What's my fault? You know what, meanie? I don't care whose fault it is. I told you, no fighting. Fight, but... Out! Oh, that mean kid ruined our fun. And he got us kicked off of Bubble Beach. This stinks. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were building our bubble castle, and this meanie popped it. So we got in a fight, and then got kicked off the beach. Popped your castle? Why? Um, he was probably jealous that our castle was better than his. Or maybe he hates kittens. Who knows? I just know he's mean. How do you know he did it to be mean? Did you ask him? No. Then how do you know for sure? Maybe there was some other reason. You're right. Maybe he hurt his foot. Or is getting chased by a bee. Hey, I get it. When someone does something that hurts you, it's always good to first ask why, instead of just hurting him back. Now there's a double bubble good idea. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, if someone does something bad to us, we'll ask why. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their bubble adventure all over again. But this time when their castle got popped... Whoa! Hey! What? Why did you pop our castle? Castle? Where? Right here. Sorry, I can't see anything without my glasses. Your glasses? Yeah, I lost them. Then I tripped because I couldn't see. And broke our castle. It was all an accident. Do you want us to help you find your glasses? Could you? Sure. Look, here they are. Thanks. Sorry I popped your castle. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Hey, your bubble castle's coming out great. Wanna help me finish it? That would be fun. I'll get our bubble wand. Thanks. I'll finish the towers. I'll make the flags. And I'll make the bubble dragon. How? Watch. Wow! wow. Can I make the bubble banana? Bubble, bubble banana? banana? For the bubble dragon to eat. <laughs> I love it! And because they stopped and asked why, Kid and Kate made a bigger, better castle and a new friend without bursting anyone's bubbles. <laughs> Just desserts. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. A watering can and straw hats. We can be dessert farmers. Yeah! And grow cookies. Sweet! Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the general store. Hi, do you sell seeds? We want to grow some desserts. Let me guess, you're hoping to win that blue ribbon today for best dessert in the county fair? I guess we are now. 
Well, I've got blueberry flambe trees, zesty cupcake bushes, lemon tart plants. How about some good old chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, we're old school. I'll make the holes, and you drop the seeds. Then I'll cover, and you water. Right. You poke, I'll plop. You squish, I'll splash. Great! Let's collect them. I'll carry the basket and you put them in. Sure! Let's go! We're gonna win that blue ribbon for sure! Yeah! Oops! Dropped one. I'd hate to see it go to waste. Hey! No fair! I want to taste one too. Mmm! We got the winning cookies! We got the winning... Oh! What's wrong, Kit? Tell me, Ake. I'll be right back. Are you all right, Kit? Ugh! Oh, my stomach. <sighs> Hurry up, Kit. I gotta get in there. What happened to us, Kate? It must be the cookies we ate. You're right. We better dump them. So much for winning that contest. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kittens? It seems you're not feeling well. Terrible is more like it. Oh. We threw chocolate chip cookies, but they made our tummies hurt. Why? Did you eat too many of them? No, I only ate one. Me too. Ugh. Strange. I've never heard of anyone getting a stomach ache from just one cookie. Are you sure you didn't eat something else? No. Hey, what is that on your paws? Dirt. I had to dig the holes. Oh, some of the dirt from my paws got on the cookie I ate, and that's what made me sick. But my hands weren't dirty. Wait, but your cookie fell on the ground, remember? Oh. Now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wash your hands before you eat. And never eat food that fell on the ground. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. And this time, we'll make sure no dirt gets into our tummies. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their farming adventure all over again. But this time, they were careful not to eat anything that could be dirty and make them sick. Better throw that cookie away, Kit. We don't want anyone to get sick from it. Good idea. And let's go wash our hands so we can give our cookies a taste. They're all clean. Now it's your turn, Kit. Thanks, Kate. Now all the dirt is gone. Mm, delicious! And this year's winner for best dessert goes to Kit and Kate! I sure hope the judge washed his hands. Oh, oh, excuse me. I guess he did it. The Blame Game. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, life vests. And boogie woogie boards. Let's canoe down the splishy, splashy river. And then ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach. Excellent. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and raced down to the dock on the splishy, splashy river. Get in, Kate. The sooner we get going, the sooner we'll be riding those waves. Just give me a second to... Kit, come back. Oh, Kate, hurry up. Just hold still so I can wait. Oh, we'll never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. Because you're too slow. No, it's because you're too fast. I, I blame, blame you. you. Just stay put. Finally. Now we're getting somewhere. Somewhere called Boogie Woogie Beach. This way! That way! To the right! No left! This is 
isn't working. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. I blame you. We're heading for the rocks. Now we're stuck in the rocks. It's your fault, Kit. It's your fault, Kate. Uh-oh. The canoe is sinking, Kit. Quick, climb up on the rocks. Bye-bye, canoe. I blame you! Then along came a mysterious stranger. <laughs> What's wrong, kitties? We wanted to go ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach, but our canoe got stuck in the rocks. What canoe? I don't see a canoe. It sunk, because Kit made a hole in it. I only made a hole after Kate made a hole. Oh, you're playing the blame game. I heard about this game. How do you win? I win when Kate admits that she sunk the canoe. I win when Kit admits that it's all his fault. And after one of you wins, then you can go to Boogie Woogie Beach? No, we don't have a canoe anymore. Oh, right. It sunk while you were playing the blame game. Ah, now I get it. Blaming each other doesn't help you solve your problems. It just wastes time. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we won't play the blame game. Right. If we have a problem, we'll figure out how to fix it instead of worrying about whose fault it is. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their river adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go just right. Kit, come back! Never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. You're too slow. No, it's because you're. Wait, it doesn't matter. Right. I'll hold the canoe steady so you can get in. Thanks. I'm ready. Then let's go. Ah! We knew it was going to do that. Yeah, but it's still scary. We're heading for the rocks. Again. It's because you. No, you. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Hold on! Great job, Kate. Come on, Kit. We said we wouldn't play the blame game. You're right. So, how do we get out of here? Maybe we can use our paddles. To push ourselves off. Ugh. It's working! Great, Great idea, idea, Kate! Next stop, Boogie Woogie Beach. Aloha, kittens. You ready to hit the waves? Yeah! Well, just don't blame me if it's too much fun. <laughs> and from then on, Kit and Kate never played the blame game again. Because when the blame game ends, the fun can begin. Excellent! Dressed too ill. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit! Cases. Let's go on an ocean cruise. And see the wonders of the world. Sounds like smooth sailing to me. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and climbed aboard the SS Kitty. They could hardly wait to find out where they were going first. Welcome aboard, passengers. Our first stop, the Great Minx in the Hotsy Totsy Desert. Today's weather, sunny and very hot. Kit, come on, let's get dressed. Pretty awesome, huh? It's gonna be hot, Kit. Don't you wanna wear shorts and a t-shirt? No, that's what everyone wears. Okay. Smile. Oh, I'm boiling. Wasn't that fun? No. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Eister Islands. Today's weather, snowy and very cold. Wow! I can't believe it! Let's get changed! Kit, it's gonna be really cold. Don't you want to wear a coat? No way. I'll look much cooler like this. Okay. Cheese! Freeze! Wow, what a great picture! Yeah, great. Uh, uh, achoo! 
Our next stop, the crying waterfalls of Wettenstein. Today's weather, rain, followed by showers and a downpour. I know what to wear. Mm, me too. Achoo. Are you sure? It's going to be very rainy. But I want to look nice. Have you ever seen so much water? Huh? <laughs> Kit, cover your nose, please. Achoo. I don't feel so good. Me neither. Achoo. You caught a bad cold and you've given it to your sister. Our next stop, Chiliville. Let's get ready, Kate. Achoo. You two are not going anywhere. You'll have to stay in bed until the end of the cruise. The end of the cruise? Yeah, I'm afraid so. No! Not fair. <coughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. You two look awful. What happened? Kit got us both sick. He did? How? First, he wanted to wear his parka in the desert, and he got totally hot. Then, I told him to wear something warm. But I looked so much better in my shorts. And I told him to wear his raincoat to the waterfalls. But I didn't want to, and I got soaked and sick. Well, anyone would get sick dressing like that. Oh, now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wear the right clothes for the weather. Thanks, Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. Let's try again. But this time, I promise I'll dress right. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, Kit picked out clothes that were right for the weather. When it was going to be hot, Kit wore shorts. And when the captain said it was going to be cold, he wore a nice, warm coat. And when the forecast called for rain, Kit looked happy as could be in his raincoat. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Rainbow Forest of Chiliville. The weather today is cool and breezy. Well, sounds like sweater weather to me. And Kit learned that when you pick the right clothes, you can have a great time no matter what the weather. Look! Wow! Something fishy. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, fishing poles. I love fishing. Then let's go to Camp Leafy. And fish in Lake Haya, what's up? Go, go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and hurried over to Camp Leafy, where they met up with the other campers. Welcome to Bunk Butternut. Thanks. Which way to Lake Haya what's up? We wish to fish. I'll put it on the schedule. But first, there's volleyball, then bicycling. <coughs> then you can go fishing. Bunk Butternut campers always stick together. <coughs> I want to wait to fish. I'm bored. I know how we can have fun. We'll play tricks on the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Here, hold this. I'll paint this melon so it looks like a volleyball. Sweet. I found it. Tire? That 
That's not funny. I quit Bunk Butternut. Our day is ruined. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kiddies? The ducks played a mean trick on us. They knew we wanted to go fishing more than anything, and they spoiled our fun. That's awful. Why would they do that? Did you play any tricks on them? Well, yeah, but they were funny. We gave them a melon instead of a ball. <laughs> and took the air out of their bike tires. Sounds to me like you spoiled their fun. I guess the ducks just did the same thing to us as we did to them. Now I understand. You shouldn't do anything to anyone that you wouldn't want them to do to you. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we won't be mean and spoil the ducks' fun. Right. We'll try to make them feel good and not bad. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their camp adventure all over again. But this time, instead of ruining the ducks' fun, they made things even better. Here, we got this special bowl for you. <laughs> we used wood from the art shack to make a cool camp ramp. And when it was time for Kid and Kate to go fishing, the ducks brought along all the bread they could find. Thanks! I bet we catch a lot of fish now. You know what? I think the fish would have more fun if we just fed them instead of catching them. Hey, ducks, can you take this bread to the fish? <coughs> the fish look happy. I'm glad we called off the catch. And now we can catch a ride. So Kid and Kate discovered that if you treat everyone the way you want to be treated, you can all have a great time together. 